Uh, I'd like to tell you about a new approach to diagnosing infectious diseases using mobile phones. Um, <laughs> the infectious diseases are caused by microorganisms that live and prosper in the human body. Uh, diseases like tuberculosis, malaria, influenza have devastating consequences when these diseases are uh, uh, progressing. Now, uh, we're actually outnumbered about 10 to 1 by foreign cells in our own body. But our immune system does a very good job of keeping the bad ones in check and many of the, the good ones we need for normal, healthy behavior. Uh, so the immune system is important until it doesn't do enough or can't do enough. And that's when we have the spread of infectious disease. Even in California in the early 1900s, tuberculosis was a major problem. Each of the black dots on this map shows cases of tuberculosis. But through better understanding of the epidemiology of tuberculosis, better care, and uh, better ability to diagnose the disease, it's been eradicated. Now, many diseases throughout the world are diagnosed by looking for the cause of the disease, in particular, looking for the microorganism that triggers the results. And how this is done is using a microscope um, and having a trained person look through that microscope. Uh, but that's not available in many parts of the world where these diseases are still significant. So could mobile phones that we all have in our pockets be useful in this? Uh, mobile phones, more people have access to mobile phones now than clean water. And as a result, perhaps the, the high-tech capabilities of mobile phones could be used for diagnostic purposes. So several years ago, we began putting lenses on the end of mobile phones. Some of you may recall a company called Nokia they made mobile phones, and this is back when they were still making phones. Uh, we were able to see, uh, using the same camera you would use to take a picture of a family member or a plate of food, we would put a uh, blood sample in front of it, and we could see blood cells. We could see white blood cells, red blood cells, count platelets. We could do things that you would normally do only at uh, a hospital, only at a well-equipped clinic. And if we added stains to these samples, um, stains that specifically attach to more microorganisms that cause disease, then we could visualize things like malaria. These little bright specks inside of the red blood cells are malaria. Uh, the same for tuberculosis. Uh, but, but images like this still require interpretation. So we started to develop algorithms that would clip out the causes of disease, the microorganisms themselves, and then classify them based on how likely are they to be the diseased organism. And so this is an array of um, tuberculosis uh, bacteria. So mycobacterium that are responsible for tuberculosis uh, arranged in order of likelihood of being TB based on an algorithm. So this combination of software uh, uh, optics added to mobile phones has led us to build integrated systems that are relatively easy to use and can expand access to uh, infectious disease diagnosis. And so one particular case we've been tackling recently has been river blindness in Central and West Africa. So in collaboration with partners in Cameroon, uh, we've used the device pictured here uh, to uh, diagnose uh, patients who are in need of the, the treatment uh, but specifically to diagnose those who have too many of a worm that complicates the treatment, a worm called loa loa, and that's pictured here. By counting the number of these worms, we can determine whether or not it's, it's okay to give drugs to an individual to treat for river blindness. And this has allowed us uh, to resume uh, treatment for river blindness in Cameroon just this past month, uh, simply by pricking a finger, inserting it into the device, and then within two minutes you have an answer of whether or not an individual can be treated. And so these types of applications of mobile phones combined with uh, software and hardware additions have uh, allowed access to uh, critical diagnostic tools that didn't exist otherwise. So expanding that access even more broadly is something that we're looking at for a number of different diseases. We've built devices that look for tuberculosis, for malaria, for a range of other infectious diseases, as well as applications in veterinary sciences, plant sciences. Um, microscopy is used very broadly, and all of your mobile phones can do it. So each of us have phones, and many of them have health software on them. You can track the number of steps you're taking. You can uh, even, in some cases, measure your pulse, uh, but how many of you, with the phones in your pocket, 
can actually quantify the number of white blood cells, red blood cells, and platelets right now. Nobody right now, but all of you could. The technology exists, and it's just a matter of time before we're all going to be able to do it. Thank you.